So the there is cable that comes out of this consumer unit, which is the house consumer unit, six millimeter cable fused at 32 amp. So it comes out the back of the consumer unit and then through to the garage, through to the outside wall, and then down to the workshop. And here it's coming out of the garage and then making its way on the outside wall over the fence and at ground level all the way to the workshop. So the electricity in here is actually in a ring main. So it makes its way all the way around to all the sockets and then returns back to the consumer unit. So we've got one ring main and a consumer unit in the house. Then armour cable from the house to this consumer unit and then another ring main. So that separates the house electrics from the shed electrics. So if anything was to go wrong that both circuits are protected from each other. The lights in the workshop look like fluorescents, but they're actually LED tubes. They throw out a lot more light than fluorescent lights. And you can tell if I turn these off and turn them back on again, there's no flickering, it just comes straight on. In the garage, I've also converted them to, fluores to um, LEDs and I've kept flu one fluorescent light in there to show the difference uh, brightness between LED and standard fluorescence. Here we are in the workshop and there you have your standard fluorescent and your LED. You can see the, um, the difference in quality of the light that you get from LEDs compared to fluorescence. And here's my Spitfire. It's got its nose sticking up in the front here because I'm doing some welding on the chassis at the front. Uh, one of the um, outriggers needs replacing. Get round to that at some point. You may have heard me mention that the, um, the lathe is a three phase lathe, three phase motor. It's one half horsepower or something like that. You're probably wondering how we're getting a three phase electricity supply from one phase. Well, the answer is pretty simple. Up in the corner, something called an inverter. And that takes the uh, single phase and converts it to three phase. And also, you see the flashing numbers, it acts as a handy speed control for the lathe as well. So you can set the um, the speed up using the up and down keys and that um, number goes all the way up to 50. So if you're thinking, you're looking at some kit which is three phase and you're thinking, oh, what are they going to do about this? There are ways around it and they're not that expensive. Just something to think about.